Hi, my name is Dr. Ross Hauser. Welcome to the Hauser Next Center here in Fort Myers, Florida, here with a special young man, Caleb. Oh, Caleb, you're in what grade? Oh, I'm in sixth grade. You're in sixth grade, and then your father wanted you to come here and be assessed. And then what condition were you having? I was having uh, seizures. Uh, yeah, and um, I had one in the past when I was like five, but it wasn't with my neck. It was just, I like, passed out and my bladder and stuff was out of control and um, ever since then I was fine and then um, I think like one day I just like zoned out and it like it was like for like a quick two seconds and then like usual zone out and I was in I think class one day and my teacher was talking to me and I wasn't responding I was I was just like zoned out and so she got me out of it and I told her what was happening and she took me to the office and then my dad came and I went home and that was it. So you were starting to have these episodes where you're breathing okay and it's almost like you're not there. So they're like you're almost not there because you can't respond to yeah. the people. And then you, it got to be where eventually you were having like tremors mm -hmm. and they yeah. weren't under your control. So we uh, evaluated you and then we found out that you were basically having absence seizures. Mm -hmm. They're called absence mm -hmm. seizures. And you had been assessed by some neurologists and some oh, other people yeah. and they weren't sure what was going on yeah, with you or they, they might were, even said that it was like yeah, psyche. They said it was just um, like in my head and... Like you're a nervous yeah. person, which you really aren't, right? Um, It kind of like <laughs> depends on the situation. But okay. No. But... um. Yeah, they still just like in all my head, and we were in the hospital for like two days, mm -hmm. and I would have seizures. Like I would be talking to my dad, and we'd be laughing, and I would have them, and I wasn't like feeling anything. I was just kind of like laughing, having a good time, and so um, he had this thought in his head that part wasn't in my head because I was happy at the in that moment, and so he was like maybe something wrong like in like physically with his body. So that's what got us here. And then you could turn your head a certain way and then you would start zoning yeah. out. So it clearly was related, something related to your neck. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. Do, prior to coming here, were you bent down a lot? Like, did you? Mm, yeah, I can yeah. I would look at my phone like Like this. you were looking at your phone yeah, quite would, a bit. I was so the, hunched over and like looking down and stuff. Just like the normal kid, yeah. like looking down mm -hmm. at your phone. And then we found when we x-rayed you that your neck curve was reversed. Yeah. So we tried to get you better just without doing prolotherapy. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you still were having yeah. episodes even though you were working on your neck curve. So mm -hmm. then we decided to do, do some pro. prolotherapy. Yeah. Then you obviously were really nervous about getting prolotherapy. Like you were oh. really, really nervous, right? Oh, yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting it to be like, I thought it was going to be like a little shots and be done but I wasn't expecting to like I felt like touch my bone and like scratching it so it was it was a new thing but I didn't after the first time I got used to it so I don't know how many you had three and then I had three yeah. okay so in hindsight you're actually glad you got prolotherapy even oh. though the shots hurt right yeah I think if I didn't we would be a, like steps back but pro just helps you get uh, faster at it and just keeps um it just helps you keep going. For people watching who are afraid of injections, because you know, it's not normal, how old are you? 12. Yeah, I mean, it's not normal for a 12 year old to be excited about getting a mm -hmm. bunch of shots in their mm -hmm. neck. Mm -hmm. So for people who are a bit, little bit afraid of getting shots, what, like, what would you tell them? I would say to for sure pray about it and um, it will, it's gonna, it's gonna feel long, but I know you go fast because it was like, 50 right like yeah it was, something like that he, but he, it just took like five or yeah. seven minutes so it's it's gonna feel like a long time but um he he goes really fast so i wasn't nervous but if you're afraid i would probably say um it'll be okay i know it's kind of hard to say if you're going through it but it'll be okay and um it won't be as long as you think and when you're done you're you're gonna be done and um you have to take your own personal um, take about it because it's different for everybody. So Yeah, that, that's really good advice. And then uh, you've been working on your neck curve, right? Mm -hmm. Do you feel like 
your neck, your posture is better? Uh, yeah, I'm just kind of doing it regularly now. So, you okay. know, when I sit, I'm just sitting like this now. So. so you came because you were having the tremors and you were having these absence seizures. So how are those symptoms doing? I haven't had one in a while. Like, I think after the second prolo, it's kind of So been... what do you think? It's been three months or how many months? Um, since the second one? Well, since you last oh, had a seizure, um, like how long? It's would probably you say? been, I'll say, like a good three, coming on four months. Okay. Has it? It's been okay. a good bit since I have. Okay, one. and then I, yeah, because you know you wanted mm -hmm. to play fat flag football and you wanted to do a bunch of stuff. So I, I actually haven't freed you up yet no, to yeah. do all those things. So, why am I being kind of restrictive? Um, do you think, like initially, before I free up for everything? Yeah. Um. I can't really do anything, and so like on that, I get that because um, we we actually watched the game. We went to the games and we watched it, and um, one kid jumped up for the ball and he went down hard on the ground. And my dad's like that, you know, that could have been you. And um, I'm like, yeah. So it's just not ready for everything, but um, I still have a little bit of freedom, like going back to school and being social. So yeah, um, I still have that little taste of it, but. Um, I just think you're just helping me for not having a setback and they have to like restart and reevaluate. So, but um, yeah. No, so I'm gonna, I'll review your test results like today because I'm sorry I didn't do them before we're making this video. <laughs> but so there's a process so you can understand before somebody's in potentially combat sports, I might want you to jog a little bit, run a little bit, like before you're in a football game mm -hmm. and just see. Like, you know, you're running and mm -hmm. your your head's bobbing and just make sure that it's safe for you, yeah. basically. So what do you normally do during the summer? Um, it's usually just at home or going to a friend's house or, um, we usually go to Disney for like, maybe like a week or so, but okay. I mean, for the most part, it's usually at home and just having, going to a friend's house, spending. So it's not nights. like you're on a sports team during the summer? Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. No, I mean, okay. it's probably just like physical, like water guns, and, you yeah. know, like normal summer stuff. Now, let's be honest. I did send you for some physical therapy. Oh, yeah. So are you done with the physical therapy? Oh, yeah. I had my last okay. treat, my last visit. Do you feel like that helped too? Um, Yeah, it did. I was also like working out at home and doing exercises there. Okay. So okay. the extra stuff helped. And okay. um, we did stuff in his gym. So it was, it helped. Um, it's also like double on stuff. So okay. what Dr. Dan was doing and that's what we're doing at home is combined. And I think I got really stronger from that. Oh, great. Good. No, I'm glad you did that. And then, okay. Can I quiz you about your condition? Um, uh, you understand sure. like you, you yeah, know. yeah. Okay. So you have a friend and the friend says, what did Dr. Hauser find of what was causing your seizures? Like, what was it? What's the diagnosis? My curvature isn't as supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be like an S, right? Well, or it's supposed to be a like, C and yeah, you were reversed. A C, a C so then, mine was reversed. Yeah, and so. then what was that causing? It was causing for like some of my vertebrae to get like kinked and everything and the arteries to get kinked and stuff. Okay, so what does kinking of an artery cause? Um, Like seizures and sometimes people going out or um it could be really anything yeah. it's just um well, when, it, when your artery gets kinked does it give more blood supply or oh, less blood supply to it kind of it kind of cuts that blood flow a little it bit it decreases it's, the blood so flow. you're starting to feel a little bit nauseated and a little bit like weird and it doesn't feel like, like your that. brain isn't getting enough yeah. blood supply okay and then what does prolotherapy do like why did you get um, prolotherapy I don't know how the best way to describe it, but okay. um, it's like a, it's a big shot and it goes in. I want to say it's kind of like glue a little okay. bit. So, so it helps stabilize. Yeah, it helps stabilize and keep it, you're supposed to get it, it moves it the way it's supposed to be. You know how there's a screwdriver, mm -hmm. the screws, the little screws mm -hmm. that tighten the hinge, the hinge that holds your cabinet door. So the, in the human body, the screws that hold this bone to this bone yeah. and this bone to this mm -hmm. bone, those are ligaments. So because of looking down at your cell phone, which is a lot of kids, right? Yeah. Look at down too much on the cell phone, the ligaments got stretched out in your neck. 
So once the ligaments get stretched out too much, the vertebrae can move in bad ways. So oh, yeah. your top vertebrae was kinking your vertebral artery and then when you'd look a certain way, the artery would get kinked and all of a sudden you'd be staring off into space. Now that the ligaments are tight, you have the responsibility to keep your neck muscles strong. Oh yeah, uh, for sure. Okay, for sure. so I'm gonna use an analogy. I'm gonna get up, so I, I don't know if this is gonna screw up the video. So imagine you're my prolotherapist and you treated my back and my back feels mm -hmm. great because really your neck feels great. So imagine you're my prolotherapist mm -hmm. and I decide I'm gonna start walking like this. Like you know, my back pain's gonna come back because oh, yeah. my posture's bad. Mm -hmm. So if you get back in the habit of looking down at a cell phone, it's possible this, yeah, the seizures could. could come back. So you still yeah. have to be responsible. It's gonna take time and like muscle memory, for like yeah, a exactly. lot, just to sit down. And a lot of people are saying I've got very posture and just like, as soon as I sit down, I'm just like this, so. It's been great having you as a patient. And I appreciate you letting us videotape oh. your care. Cause you know, we're doing this just to try to help other oh, yeah. kids no, and other sure. people who have these episodes that the doctors are having trouble finding out whether it's a seizure or it's yeah. not a seizure. Yeah. Yeah.